Hey guys, this is Shubhash Ishmishra, your test coach. Today we will learn top 15 agile testing interview questions and answers. So when you will go for any estate interview, definitely you will face few questions on agile testing. So I hope this video will helpful for you. Okay, so let's start with the first question. What is agile testing? So here the interviewer tests your knowledge about the basic of agile testing. Agile testing is a practice based on the principles of Agile software development and Agile is an iterative software development methodology where requirements keep changing as per the customer needs. In Agile process, testing is done in parallel to the development activity and test team receives frequent code changes from the development team for testing an application. Okay. So that is the basic of Agile testing. Okay, we'll move to the next question. What are the main roles in Scrum? So we know Scrum consists of three main roles, product owner, Scrum master and Scrum team. So who is the product owner? So we call them PO, right? PO is for product owner and they owns the product. Okay. Product owner usually represents the client and act as a point of contact from the client side. And product owner is the one who provides proper requirements to the scrum team. And he or she prioritizes the list of product backlogs which scrum team should finish and release it. Okay. So mainly product owner is the owner of the product. Okay, and he represents the client. Okay, then what is Scrum Master? Scrum Master acts as a facilitator to the Scrum team. Scrum Master works with the Scrum team to make sure each sprint gets completed on time. He unblocks team if team is facing any challenges which are outside of the scrum team effort and if something needs to be fixed by some other team. Okay. Scrum master is responsible for managing the sprint and scrum ceremonies. Okay. Then what is scrum team? So scrum team includes both developer and QA members. Okay. So developers develop the product and QA test the product that we know right so each member of this scrum team should be self organized dedicated and responsible for high quality of the work so scrum development team decides the effort estimation to complete a product backlog item okay so these are the major roles in scrum we'll move to the next question what is sprint right so a sprint is a short time boxed period when a scrum team works to complete a set amount of work. Okay. In scrum, the project is divided into sprints and each sprint has a specified timeline. So average timeline in the industry is like two weeks to one month. Again, depending upon the project and company in few places they follow two weeks of sprint in few places people follow three weeks of the sprint so the standard practice is two weeks to one month okay so again this timeline will be agreed by a scrum team during the sprint planning meeting okay and user stories are split into different modules the end result of every sprint should be a potential shippable product okay so that is what sprint right then we'll move to the next question what are the product backlog and sprint backlog so product backlog is maintained by the project owner which contains every feature and requirement of the product the list of product backlog items are prioritized by the product owner as high and low and also could be deprioritize the product backlog constantly. Then 
what is sprint backlog sprint backlog can be treated as the subset of product backlog which contains features and requirements related to the particular sprint only okay so that's how the difference between product backlog and sprint backlog we'll move to the next question what is the difference between burn off and burn down chart this is very very important people usually ask this question right so burn off and burn down charts are used to keep track of the progress of the project okay so burn off charts represent how much work has been completed in any project whereas burn down chart represents the remaining work in a project so burn off chart represents how much work has been completed in any project whereas burn down chart represents the remaining work okay so that's the difference between burn up and burn down chart we'll move to the next question what are the type of burn down charts okay so there are four different types of burn down charts in agile like product burn down chart sprint burn down chart release burn down chart and defect burn down chart so what is product burn down chart so product burn down chart is like a graph which shows how many product backlog items or user stories are implemented or not implemented okay then what is sprint burn down chart again it is a graphical representation which shows how many sprints are implemented or not implemented by the scrum team what is release burn down chart again it is a graph which shows list of releases are still pending which scrum team needs to plan in their upcoming sprint then what is defect burn down chart again it is a graph which shows how many defects are identified and how many defects are fixed so that is defect burn down chart okay we will move to the next question what is a daily stand up meeting so daily stand up meeting is a daily routine meeting you can say right so it's a daily routine meeting it brings everyone up to date on the information and helps the team to stay organized it is normally time box to a maximum of 15 minutes okay so each team member reports to their peers in this things right what did you do yesterday what we will do today and anything blocking your progress so the main purpose of this questions are very straight forward like the team gets on the same page in terms of who completed specific task and what still needs completion or what is pending and based on yesterday's result do our plan changes today okay so the team gets a clear picture of what they are on track to complete the sprint goal and teammates get a chance to help each other so when you say there is something blocking for you maybe someone else can help you okay and when you give your status like what you did yesterday or what you are planning to do today that also helps your peers to understand where overall sprint is standing and if they can help you in that right so that is the main agenda of stand up meetings okay we'll move to the next question what is sprint planning so a sprint planning meeting is conducted before the start of a sprint so the purpose of sprint planning is to define what can be delivered in the sprint and how that work will be achieved sprint planning is done in collaboration with the whole scrum team so product owner selects the product backlog items or user stories from the product backlog and most important user stories are the top of the list and least important user stories at the bottom so scrum development team decides and provides the effort required to complete those user stories those high priority user stories okay so that's what 
scrum team do in the sprint planning okay then we'll move to the next question what is the sprint review meeting okay so sprint reviews are not retrospective that you should be very clear sprint review is a different meeting and sprint retrospective is a different meeting in agile okay so a sprint review is about demonstrating the work done by the entire team including your designer or developer or product owner okay so in this meeting scrum team presents a demonstration of a potential shippable product okay so product owner declares which items are completed and which items are still pending so product owner adds the additional items to the product backlog based on the stakeholders feedback so it is a time for everyone to ask different questions and try new features and give feedback okay so sprint review meeting is all about asking more questions getting more feedback and implementing it okay and improving the product we'll move to the next question what is a sprint retrospective meeting so scrum team meets again after the sprint review meeting and documents the lesson learned in the earlier sprint like what went well in the last sprint and what could be improved right so it helps the scrum team to avoid the mistakes in the next sprint so if we didn't do properly in our last sprint we can make an action item on that so out of that retrospective meeting we will get some action items to improve ourselves and if we did something good in our last sprint we can appreciate that effort right someone did well so we can appreciate that so that's all about sprint retrospective meeting then we will move to the next question what is an impediment in scrum so impediments are the obstacles faced by the scrum team so any obstacle that keeps the team from getting work done and that slows the velocity is known as impediment scrum master is responsible for removing the impediments so some of the impediments like resource unavailability right or somebody fall sick in that time how will deliver the project right that is an impediment because someone for whom we plan the work he fall sick then we are not able to deliver it that is an impediment similarly lack of management support business issues lack of skill technical operational issues even external issues such as weather something wrong happened people didn't come to the office so that can be an impediment right we will move to the next question what is velocity in scrum so velocity is a key metric to measure the amount of work a team can tackle during a single sprint it also facilitates very accurate forecasting of how many stories a team can do in a sprint it predicts how much work an agile team can successfully complete within a sprint and how much time will it need to finish a project points from partially completed or incomplete user stories are not counted calculating the velocity okay we'll move to the next question what is a task board in agile so a task board is a dashboard which shows the progress of the project and how team is doing it to achieve the sprint goal okay so the columns showed in the task board are like user story and to do what is in progress what is to verify and what is done so you know user story is the actual business requirement when i say to do it is like what are the task all the scrum team needs to do so that will be in the to do list okay then in progress what are the task in the in progress in that sprint 
and to verify means what are the tasks pending for verification or testing that is in to verify then done done means which and all tasks are completed so these are the different columns present in a task board okay we'll move to the next question what is the difference between epic user story and task so we know user story defines the actual business requirement generally it is created by the business owner or bo okay then what is epic epic is like a group of related user stories is called an epic okay when we have a user story then similar user stories will be a epic so epic is like a big or complete feature you can say complete product you can say and then there will be different different functionality or feature will be the user stories then what is task so scrum team creates a task to accomplish the business requirement so whatever we do in part of our development activity or testing activity that will be a task so scrum team creates a task for each activity okay we'll move to the next question what is product road map so a product road map is ref referred for the holistic view of product features that create the product vision so it's mainly like what is coming in future the complete road map of the product so we we call it as product road map what we are going to develop or what we are going to implement in the future so that's all about product road map thank you if you have any questions please let me know in the comment section i'll try to explain it please like share and subscribe to my channel